Hey guys, last week we were talking about John chapter 14 and you had the opportunity to go through and and just kind of see what truths you were finding as you went through John chapter 14. And uh, I'm hoping you found a lot of truths, but I'm really hoping that you keyed in on verse 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and nobody comes to the Father except through me. One of the truths that we've, we've been finding throughout the book of John is that Jesus is the only way to eternal life with God. And this verse is, is the one, there's no one can come to the Father except through Jesus Christ. And I'm hoping that you guys picked up on that. If you didn't go back into John chapter 14, verse 6, and just kind of look at that and meditate on that. But this week we're going to be in John chapter 15. Jesus is continuing to talk to the disciples about um, what they're supposed to do after Jesus, uh, after Jesus is crucified. And it's, it's kind of his last words, and he's investing in them. And he starts talking about the vines and branches and a gardener and fruit and all kinds of stuff. And, and you guys will be able to look into that. But Jesus is basically saying, hey, I'm the vine and you're the branches. And if, if you try to do things without me, you're not going to be successful. But you need to do things in me. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. And he goes on to say, if you want to make fruit. Now what does that mean? If we wanted to, to make fruit for Jesus Christ, and we're one of the branches, what is the fruit that he's talking about? And, and you can discuss that in, in your, your group today. Um, and, and Jesus talks about that for a little bit. And then he, he kind of moves into a, a theme of love. He first starts with a theme of love and then he moves into the theme of hate. He talks about the love that he has for them, that God, has, God the Father has for him, how he loves the Father and how much he loves the disciples and how much he loves us. And he talks about that there is no greater love than this, that a man would lay down his life for his friends. And Jesus calls you and me friend. But then he starts talking about hate. He says, you know, if if you choose to love me, then the world is going to hate you. Because at the end of the day, if they hated me, they're going to hate you as well. And I know that that's, that's a rough thing to hear, but the neat thing about Jesus is he loves us so much that he'll even tell us the things that we don't want to hear. And it makes sense if the world hated Jesus and they crucified him, then there's going to come times as believers in Jesus Christ where it's going to become difficult. And so the, the question that I'm hoping that, that you'll wrestle with this week in, in, your, in your small groups is, what does Jesus want us to do with our sin? In the midst of everything he's talking about, being the vine and the branches and, and love and hate and all of this, there's this underlying theme in there. And the question is, what does Jesus want to, us to do with our sin? I mean, even after we accept Jesus Christ as our Savior, uh, he, our sin is forgiven, but it still seems to be there. So what is he expecting from us when it comes to our sin? I want you guys to have an awesome week. God bless you. I'll see you next week.